In the wonderful world of computer cases, there are certain trends. Really old cases tended to be beige, then cable space behind the motherboard trays expanded, rubber grommets and cable management holes became common, everyone started introducing basements, and now, tempered glass. Tempered glass is everywhere. All three of the last cases that I've reviewed, including this one, has included some amount of tempered glass. And the Anides AI Crystal has even more glass than the others. So it must be great. TunnelBear is the simple VPN app that makes it easy to browse privately and enjoy a more open internet. To try TunnelBear for free, check out the link in the video description. The front of the case, when the computer is off, appears minimal, Scandinavian even. Once the computer is on, however, the three included Anities branded 140mm white LED fans shine through the front mounted tempered glass in a rather beautiful way. Although it should be noted that the brightness of the LEDs is dependent on the speed of the fans, so it is inherently variable. This also reveals that they are kept mostly clean by a magnetically mounted filter that you will need to remove said front panel to access. The top of the case has spots for two more 140mm fans or three 120mm fans, although it is currently empty, and also has a magnetically mounted filter on the outside of the case. Although, tragically, there were no holes cut in the filter where the screws could go through, so it doesn't rest flat if you don't have completely flat mounting screws used here. And just like the filter at the front of the case, it doesn't seem fine enough to be all that effective at actually blocking that much dust. Closer up there is the I.O., which includes two USB 3.0 ports, two USB 2.0 ports, a reset button, a large LED lit power button, headphone and microphone jacks with unfortunately offset logos, and a fan controller listed with L, S, and H, which seems to stand for low, stop, and high, respectively, although it is yet again unfortunate that the position of the switch doesn't actually line up with the corresponding letters. The left side of the case features a large, all-encompassing tempered glass panel, which features rubber ring screws and female thread points in order to protect the glass from scratches, and a warning sticker saying, tempered glass, handle with care, which is a good thing, because mishandling tempered glass and having it break doesn't just suck because you lose a case panel, it's a nightmare to clean up as well. The bottom of the case features some pretty standard feet reminiscent of something that you might find on, say, a Corsair carbide series of cases, and a filtered intake for your power supply, which does seem fine enough to be effective at blocking dust from getting into the case. It's actually a different filter. The right-hand side has another beautiful tempered glass panel which reveals the back of the... wait, hold on a second. What are those? What are those? Are those the fractal fins? They look like the fractal fins on the front intake. Fractal also has a large flat Scandinavian styled front panel and intakes exactly like these on the side of their front panels. What are those? After some research, no, this is not a collaboration project, despite the outside resembling a fractal case with a tempered glass facelift. Some further looks into their website also revealed some other oddities, like a multi-USB port charger that looked very suspiciously almost exactly the same as an anchor charger, even down to some of the fine details and the specs. Seems rather fishy, but I don't have nearly enough information to make any actual accusations, so I'll leave you guys to come to your own conclusions, and moving on. The back of the case features a sliding cover for the expansion cards and non-thumb screws, which is rather annoying and makes the screws not even that easy to remove. We don't have a screwdriver in the shop that can easily remove these, and I'm constantly afraid I'm going to strip them anytime I try to remove them. Moving up the back, we have some metal stopped management holes for external water cooling. Who the hell would use those? They look so ugly. I mean, okay, we apparently would use them for sh like whole room water cooling, but that's not a good metric to go by. We're crazy. We're not average consumers. The inside of the back showing the motherboard tray has ample cable management loops for zap straps. Three beautifully displayed SSD trays, a really weird CPU heatsink cutout which doesn't actually properly reveal all of the screw holes for the heatsink, and last of all, an extreme lack of depth 
there isn't enough room back here to properly run your cables and have a tempered glass panel installed. To counter this, you would have to flat mount all of your cables, which is extremely tedious and frustrating. Down below in the basement area, there are two 3.5 inch hard drive mounts and a power supply that sits up on some extended legs to get it off the base of the case. A nice touch. Moving inside the main compartment, however, things continue to be weird. When I tried to remove their protective film from their company logo, some of the letters started to come off. And then there's this thing on the right hand side. It covers up some of your cable management, which is cool. All in all, this is a stunning case. While I had it set up in the bench den, a number of people came by and commented on how fabulous it looked. It looks mysterious and beautiful, and as such things sometimes go, it is unsurprisingly a little crazy when you look a little bit closer. The choice is yours, to stick your computer in crazy or to not. Let me know in the comments down below. Ting is the mobile carrier that is focused on customer service and customer satisfaction first. Don't speak to a robot, just get put through directly to a person and pay only for what you use. The average Ting bill is only $24 a month per device. If you're stuck in a contract and switch to Ting, they will cover 25% of your cancellation fee up to $75. Head over to linus.ting.com and try out their savings calculator. When you sign up at our link, you'll also get $25 in service credit or $25 towards a new device. All right guys, thanks for watching. If this video sucked and you're like, I disagree, there's no oddities about this case whatsoever at all, <laughs> hit the dislike button. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that fun stuff, and feel free to buy it on Amazon or a different case if you want to do that. Also, don't forget to check out our, our stores in the description down below where you can get a cool shirt like this, or the forum where you can discuss the various things on this case and where they may have come from.